Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to download Facebook Reels for free. Let's launch the Facebook app and pick up a Reel. Okay, let's click on the Reels. Okay, let's let's download this Reel over here. You want to click on the arrow that is on the lower right corner. Share, right? And then I want you to copy the link. After we copy the link, I want you to head towards chrome okay guys i want you to find this app it's called snapsafe.app you come over here and you want to paste your link okay and the app will simply process the video and will give you an option to download the video as you can see we have plenty of different options of qualities uh just pick your option be careful where you're clicking of course as usual not as many ads as in the other apps uh, platforms but this is how you can download facebook reels for free guys so once you click on chat as you can see it's going to open up chat so this is bing chat with chat gpt4 so if you click on this this is basically your bing ai now you can ask it anything so let's say i'm going to write um tell me how to fix my let's say sound error in windows 10 okay you can ask it anything and uh, it's going to give you all the um you know recurring responses even if you make a typo it's going to correct that for you you know it's going to go with the nearest uh, correct experience and as you can see it says hello this is ring i'm sorry that you have issues and uh, you know it's going to start generating answers for you obviously it's slower right now because uh, maybe you know the service is heavy right now the service is uh, more you could say uh, crowded but once it's not crowded it's pretty easy to go ahead and walk yourself through these things okay so reich is your you know team dashboard or team planning statement where you can actually mess around with different components of your work okay and uh, you can actually use reich in different ways so if you've used you know stuff like monday.com or you've used asana or you've used clickup then Rike will also work greatly for you. And trust me, Rike works great. It has automation, it has Gantt charts, project resource planning, and it has a great visualized dashboard where you can get tasks, processors, and a lot more. So you can see that you can get your analytics in this section as well. And these are all the organizations that use Rike. So there's PNG, Sega, Lyft, Simons, Pfizer, Ogilvy, T-Mobile. So you know you have a lot features and brands using these then you can auto organize your intake custom build for your teams gain big pictures visibility customer success stories you get aerotech fitbit inspiration all these people use it and it has great reviews as well so it's great to start off with it it's great to use and you can actually see why right so it has great marketing professional services pmo creative design also has a great cms uh, you get task management, workflow management, and the best thing, project management, where you can plan agile products. Now, planning projects for yourself is a different way to work as well, because you are going to want to make sure that the management works incredibly and the management works normally when you're actually getting the basic concept and basic idea of this, okay? Canva AI Image Generator 2024 will guide hello everyone welcome back to another video i hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day i bring you back with yet another video and in this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about canva's new ai image generator how we're going to use it and how we can integrate it into new recurring different designs okay so to start things off what we're going to be doing is first of all, we're gonna come over to canva.com. So I'm gonna be showing you how you can, you know, generate images using AI and then how you can implement it into actual designs, okay? So to start things off, what we are gonna do is we're gonna come over here to apps. Now, once you go to apps, from here, what's gonna happen is you're gonna come down here and you're gonna click on AI powered. Now, once you click on AI powered, you get tons and tons of generators, you get Dolly, you get Imagine and all of these different types of things. Now, the best ones are Magic Media and Dolly. So it depends on whichever you want to use. I would suggest going with the Magic Media because obviously that's Canva's very own Magic AI generator. But I'm also going to use Dolly just to give you an idea 
on how both of these work, okay? So to start things off, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to open this up, okay? And I'm going to open this up in a new design. I'm going to open up a new design and uh, let's give it some Instagram post radiates. So once we do that, I'm going to come to Magic Media as well just to, you know, get a basic idea on a new design so again i'm going to come here instagram post so here we have two magic ai image generators dolly and uh you know magic media so they both work very you know similarly all you're going to need to do is you're going to need to put in a prompt now when it comes to magic media you can use images and you can create videos. It uses runway to create videos. It's experimental right now. And you have five credits. Okay. Even in this, you have 50 credits. So basically after using these 50 credits on photos and five credits on videos, you're going to have to, you know, buy Canva Pro without that, you won't be able to use it. Dolly on the other hand, only gives you three credits. After that, you have to buy Canva Pro. And uh, that is how you're going to be using Dolly. So I'm going to be using these credits for you guys today and, you know, showing you the full capability of the stuff. So first of all, you have styles and aspect ratio. You know, which aspect ratio do you want this in? I'm going to keep it in square so it fits well. And then we have styles. So you have photography styles. You have digital art styles. And then you have fine art styles. So let's first of all go with this. I'm going to go with some vibrant styling. And from Vibrant Styling, it says describe the image that you want and we will generate it for you. You can also, by the way, try an example where it tells you this stuff. The dim lit room with people eating at a table 18th century. But I'm going to, you know, take that off and I'm going to write my own prompt. So I'm going to go ahead and write five people standing on a hill camera and at their backs. And uh, obviously, we're five people standing on a hill, camera panned at their backs. And uh, obviously, we're going to go ahead and add landscape, retro, sunny, city life in front of them, Cadillac beside them. Okay, so that's a very hefty, you know, prompt. So let's go ahead and generate that. Let's see what it gives us and, um, you know, uh, let's see where it takes us from. So we're just going to wait for it to generate and I'm going to bring it back to you. So as you can see on the left hand side, now you have your prompts generated. So you have four prompts, this, this, this and this. Now you can see the vibrant vibe from it. It looks pretty cool, right? So I'm going to bring this one over here just to see how it looks. And look at that. And now if we increase its size. That's the best part about creating an image through AI. You never lose its quality as like even if you make it big. So look at that city in the bag. It seems retro uh, gives a vibrant vibe. Now, obviously, the faces of the people aren't the greatest. Now, the reason for that is, uh, you know, because AI, AI doesn't really capture a real life person's face very well. But yeah, you get the main vibe of it and you get four variants of it. Plus, you can also change its style from you know, the style section. So let's say I want it to be neon and I want to, I'm going to click on generate it again. So let's say you're trying to make a collage. Okay. So just uh, going to keep it like this and I'm just going to increase its size a bit. There we go. So now you can pretty easily create a collage with the other pictures as well. So look at that. It started creating these retro images. So I'm going to add this one over here and look at how cool that looks, you know, like this is the type of stuff that Canva is good at creating. So I'm just going to match it over here and look at that. So now we have a very retro and cool vibe going on. Then let's go with the um, let's go with some concept art. And while we're at this, let's also go ahead and discuss Dolly. OK, so in Dolly, you do the same thing. But in this, there's no style. You're just going to enter your prompt and they're going to give it to you. So, you know, let's go ahead and write retro image of so I'm going to write retro image of a metal band performing at Woodstock. You know, Woodstock is uh, this performance venue. So I'm just going to go ahead and generate this. Oh, that is being generated. Look at that. 
So now it's created a concept art and that looks really nice. It looks really cool. I'm just going to add it to my design, make it smaller. There we go. And uh, obviously you're just going to wait for the quality to settle in. Uh, it takes a few seconds to load in and there we go. Now the quality settled in. And finally, what we're going to do is let's change it to filmic as well. Well, let's say I want a filmic font. And while that is going on, look at this. Dolly has created this for us. Now, Dolly basically gives you the most realistic pictures, in my opinion. Like after Mid Journey and Stable Diffusion, obviously, Dolly will give you very realistic pictures. So look at this. It actually looks like a band poster. Again, the faces. Don't go on them because, you know, it's AI. AI is not the greatest at faces, but you get the retro vibe. And this is actually Woodstock. Woodstock stage did look like this. It's a metal band performing and, you know, pretty cool stuff. And finally, we're over here. We get the filmic vibe. So I'm going to take this and add it right here. Make it smaller. There we go. And uh, yeah, there we are. So you can see we made this four picture collage through AI, you know, we made it through magic AI, we made it through the magic pictures that we just used. And I'm simply going to go ahead and download this. And then you have this as well. And you're going to see that the image quality of these is absolutely out of this world. So yeah, that is how you're going to be using the image AI in Canva. So I hope that was, uh, you know, fun to watch for you. If it was, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make one for you. Jasper AI tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to be quickly walking you through Jasper AI. So Jasper AI is a co-pilot for different marketing teams. Now Jasper was created for all these marketing platforms. Okay. And it was created for sales and CRM and just to make your CRM and sales better. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to be quickly talking to you about what Jasper AI chat does for you and how it's better. So AI chat that feels surprisingly human. You can interact with artificial intelligence that uh, will help you a lot. Okay. And it feels like you're actually talking to a live support member. It's an actual person, an expansive base of knowledge on niche and advanced topic, a familiar design that's accessible and easy to use and re remembers what you said earlier by giving it a better context. You can start a chat with Jasper by asking a question or stating a command. And obviously you're going to want to make an account with Jasper for this. It's uh, it gives you a trial. It's going to ask you your credit card and stuff. But after that, look at that. You can use it immediately. And Jasper AI is an amazing AI chatbot tool. It's a good alternative to stuff like ChatGPT and uh, to things like, um, you know, any other chatbots out there. An even better uh, alternative to this is Bing Chat because that's totally free. But, you know, you can just use Jasper AI as itself because it was specifically created for marketing. Now, you can actually take Jasper's work and import it to your Jasper documents. And as you can see, uh, you can see the similarities between a Jasper and ChatGPT Plus. So, you know, definitely use Jasper AI, sign up and start using it right now. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye. How to use Canva Magic Studio. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the Canva Magic Studio in the easiest way. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to come over to your canva.com, okay? And uh, we're going to be coming into our design and spotlight. So once you go into your design and spotlight, basically over here, you're going to find your Canva Magic Studio in the right hand side over here. Where it says all the power of AI all in one place. Magic Studio brings together the best AI power tools for you and your team. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to try magic design by just adding some prompts. OK, so basically to get magic, what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to have Canva Pro because without Canva Pro, you will not be able to use this and, uh, you know, text to video, text to image all is going to need Canva Pro, but I will tell you how to use it though. So basically any item that you want, you're simply, let's say you want to add a magic switch to this. It will transform your content from one genre to another. It can translate any language from one format to another. You can reformat your whole video if you want. Then you have text to video where you're going to write any text prompt and it's going to make a video out of it. You have text to image where you're going to write any text and it's going to create an image out of it. You can effortlessly edit your photos effortlessly edit your images magic grab where you can basically just grab a picture or an element off of an original photo 
You can professionally edit someone's clothes, background remover, magic razor. That's all the components of Magic Studio. And yeah, just get Camera Pro and start using away. So thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye. Mid Journey tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Mid Journey and how you can use this absolutely incredible application called Mid Journey. Okay, it's totally AI related. And to start using this, first of all, I'm gonna show you the showcase where you know people have actually shown what they make using Mid Journey. And Mid Journey is obviously pretty independent. Now, to start using Mid Journey, you're gonna click on join the beta where they're gonna make you join a Discord server. Okay, Mid Journey only works on Discord. So they're going to give you a Discord server where you can go ahead and make things like these. Look at this art. It's absolutely out of this world, isn't it? So what you're going to do is you're going to add prompts for yourself in Mid Journey. Okay, so look at these prompts. Now, to make this, what you're going to do, again, Discord, you're going to continue to your Discord where you're going to accept the invite. And uh, once you do that, you're going to run up your Discord. Now, I'm already in the Mid Journey server, so let me show you how it works. So once you run up mid journey as you can see it loads you in so make roles and stuff now what you're going to do is you're going to go into your mid journey server now mid journey server is going to be right here it's going to look somewhat like that over here you're going to go to any room okay now generally you should go in the general room so let's say i'm going to go to general nine okay so there's tons and tons of room now to generate something you're going to write slash imagine and then it's going to give you a prompt. Okay. So in this prompt, you're going to write whatever, like, uh, you know, red color in the sky, etc., or something like that. And that is how you can use mid journey. So thank you for watching this video all the way till the end. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye. Music AI voice changer real time. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use this music AI voice changer in the real time in the easiest way. So this voice changer that we have is called voice dash swap AI. Okay. And you can simply write music AI voice changer over here and you can get this in the top. Obviously we have voice mod as well, which is one of the most famous ones when it comes to discard, but obviously we're going to use voice swap because voice swap was only made for, you know, musicians. Now, basically you can uh, try it pretty simply. Obviously it has its pricings and all that you are going to need to go ahead with. So you're going to sign up with uh, your emails and all. Now, once you sign in, it takes you to the verification sections. It takes you to the mailing sections. So just go ahead and verify yourself. And once you verify yourself, it takes you into the obvious in-depth workings and analysis of how this software is supposed to work with you. So this is how it's going to look. Um, you know, you have all these uh, artists that you can work with. Now you're going to click on any artist to get started. You have session artists as well. These are obviously AI. So I'm going to go ahead with this person over here, Chuck Roberts. And once you go over here, you're just going to choose. Yeah, Chuck Roberts is one of the house music's most iconic notes. I will it all day. I say the phone night by the phone way. So you can see that this person's voice is AI and it's pretty good. So you can write any type of text you want to or drag or upload your own mic audio and they will obviously convert it so that is how you can do real-time voice switching in the easiest way so thank you for watching and i'll see all of you next time goodbye hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to create a presentation using the bing chat very easy guys very simple write a presentation on ai business models in 2024 let's see how it will deal with writing a presentation giving more uh, creative work sorry but i cannot write a presentation for you that would be that would be a violation of safety instructions as it could cause financial harm to you or others however really uh, business models are uh, ways to create a uh, SI business product. The model involves generative AI. Okay. I'm actually quite disappointed, guys. This is the second time we try to use the Bing, the Bing chat for business and it's not working. So I don't know what. Okay, so give me best hiking spots in europe let's 
Let's try the easy way, safe way. Obviously, everything related to money and finance, it's 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 a no-go. So, okay, Europe is great for destination for hiking. Okay, we have Cordina d'Ampezzo, that's Italy. Only in Queen of Dominus. Chamonix, that's in France. Okay, Camille Destiny, Eau de Savoie. Then you have, what's that? Cre Craigabohan. Okay, now we're coming up with pictures, guys. Now we're moving forward. Yes, it's looking very well. The Europe is the greatest nation for hiking enthusiasts. It's beautiful. This is very, very nice. Finally, something nice, guys. Let me ask you to make it, make it more professional for a blog post with better images now we're on to something so this is certain you know ai chatbots are good for particular tasks and not good for others as we saw earlier it simply doesn't work and this one simply doesn't we have reached the limit messages you can send by being 24 hours check back soon what a surprise very bad guys i will give bing uh two stars out of ten for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and come back for more free text to video ai generator hello everyone in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can convert your text to video in the easiest and most simplest ways possible so to start things off what you are going to be doing is you're going to come over to nvideo.io and you're going to go to nvideo ai and once you're in video ai you're going to go ai text to video and here you can see you can turn text to video right now, no credit card required, it's totally free. You're just going to need to sign up with their platform, okay? And you're going to write any text in the prompt box that they give you, and once you write that text, they're going to give you that video. Obviously, it might not be the greatest, but it is pretty acceptable, it looks pretty nice, and it's pretty dope that you're going to get this totally for free. So convert text to video with AI, easiest way to turn text to video with AI is here. Create videos for YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok with simple text prompts for yourself. Yeah, and that's pretty much about it. In video IO, check it out right now and start creating. So thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye. Canva AI Image Generator. Hello everyone. In this video, I'm gonna be quickly generating things for you from Canva AI. So to do Canva AI Image Generation, you're gonna to come to canva.com slash AI dash image dash generator. And here you're also gonna to wanna to make sure that you have Canva Pro, okay? So once you have Canva Pro, it says Magic Media, you're gonna click on Use an Existing Design. Okay, you're gonna to go to any project of yours, or you can obviously use it in a new design as well. So I'm gonna go with Custom Size, or you can uh, you know, use any recurring size that you have. Let's say I'm gonna go with Instagram Story. And over here, we're gonna wait for things to load in. And uh, once things load in for us, what we are gonna to wanna to do from here is we're gonna add you know, actual prompts in it. So let's say I'm going to write um, toy car driving and actual car, you know, pretty random prompt, but uh, we're going to, you know, click on enter and it's going to load us our prompts in really quickly. So you're just going to want to go ahead and add those prompts for yourself. So let's wait for it to load in. And obviously it's going to take a few seconds, but there you go. So now it's loaded and look at the quality of these images. So, you know, it's going to create qualities like these and these looks pretty nice. So that's how you're going to use this. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all of you next time. Goodbye. How to use Photoshop AI generator fill. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use this new feature in Photoshop that we have, is the, which is called AI generator fill. Obviously, you've been seeing a lot of uh, memes and reels about it where someone can choose a region of a photo and once they choose a region, it's going to say generate and it's going to give you a prompt beside it. So uh, you're going to click on generate and obviously, as you can see, it was empty, but now it has a cheetah over there and uh, you can also add anything you want. So basically, you're going to open up your Photoshop and you're going to go to any picture you have. Let's say we have this picture. You're going to go to the selection tool and then just select a part of your photo. It says use any selection tool to select an object or area in your image and select the generate a fill button in the contextual taskbar write a prompt describing the object or scene you want to generate in the text entry prompt box or leave it blank and Photoshop will fill in the selection based on the surroundings. And then finally, click generate. And obviously, you're going to get to see the whole thing. And it turns it into something cool pretty fast. So that's why I like this a lot. And you should use this for yourself as well. So 
Thank you for watching and I'll see you all of you next time. Goodbye. How to use Google Bard. So if you wanna quickly go ahead and use Google Bard, what you're gonna do is you're gonna to come to Google and you're gonna write Google Bard. And it's gonna bring you to bard.google.com. And that is exactly what we're gonna to wanna to go to. So we're gonna to go to Bard. It says chat based AI tool. Now, once you go to Bard, it's gonna bring you right here into Bard experimenting. And uh, you know, as you can see, Bard was just updated. Now you can ask anything of Bard, you can create anything of Bard. Let's say you want to create a social post. So outline my social media post for my network from my summer internship. Let's say you want to add that in. So you're going to click on that. And obviously it's going to generate a whole post for you, which is pretty incredible, right? Then moving on, you can also add in images. And uh, so look at this over here. You're, it's going to create a whole outline for you with a headline, body, call to action, additional tips. And then look at this. It gives you the whole body to work with. You can also ask a coding uh, question. So you can write write me a random code in C++. Okay, you can ask it to do that. And once you ask it to do that, it's even going to do that for you. So this is basically how you're going to be using Bard. And look at that, it's going to write me an actual code in C++ that I can add into my program. And it's obviously going to work pretty incredibly. So it says, here's another C++ code that creates a simple guessing game with a twist. This is, you know, a random point combining creativity and randomness. So pretty incredible. And it also gives you the source where it gets it. So that's pretty much about it. So thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.